Patty, December 16th, getting close now. How are you feeling, brother? Uh, great, to be honest. Sounds very cliche, lad, but best camp of my life. Cannot wait to put on a show for everyone. Um, biggest fight of your life? Uh, I think biggest opponent, for sure. Is this the biggest fight of your life? Yeah, biggest fight of my life, definitely. Biggest opponent's coming back off three major surgeries. Got to make a statement after my last fight. Simple as that. Yeah, do you feel, Patty, like but people, uh, you know, perhaps for the first time have, have said, hey, um, you know, may maybe Patty is not this elite fighter. And, and is there something to show, to prove to uh, the no, naysayers? I've, the been getting, I've been getting that since my debut, lad. You know what I mean? People write me off constantly. I've been getting it since I was 16 years of age, fighting an amateur in Liverpool. So I'm used to it. It's normal for me. Why is that, Patty? All you do is win. Um, I know. It's mad, isn't it? <laughs> it's strange yeah. lad but you know people have been talking shit about me since I was 16 lad and that's never gonna change I've just come to learn to accept it now uh, now talk to me about Tony like we said uh, you know Tony doesn't get much better than Tony's career uh, 39 years old though obviously has, uh, has dealt with losses uh, last fights w what do you make of this guy what, is, are you getting the, the vintage Tony Ferguson are you getting a wash Tony Ferguson I mean what do you, what do you uh, make of, of his abilities at this point in his career we prepare for the best version of Tony Ferguson possible the one that's turned up against Donald Cerrone against Anthony Pettis against Barbosa and I mean we've, we've prepared for the, the best Tony Ferguson possible but as you say he's on a bit of a decline and that's why I've said about this fight, it's a lose-lose for me, because when I win, people are going to be like, oh, he only beats a washed-up Tony, when he's still a dangerous motherfucker. And then if, if it did happen to lose, people would be like, oh, Paddy's finished, he's just being beat by a finished Tony, all that shit. Yeah, that's a great point. With a win here, and especially an impressive win, Paddy, should, should you be uh, ranked on, say, December 20th? No, I don't think I'll get. I don't think I'll get a ranking off this. Like to be honest, kind of fella. Don't think I'll get a ranking off this. Obviously, Bobby Green beats Mass. Bobby Green never got. To, he had to fight someone for the ranking. So I think that that's probably what will happen with me. I beat Tony, and then fight someone who is ranked for the ranking. Everyone's been uh, making a lot of Tony training with David Goggins. Obviously, David Goggins is an incredibly popular figure. Do you believe, though, that that is actually going to have any positive effect inside the octagon on the 16th? Well, it's going to help him mentally and just cardio-wise, but I think they're the two things that Tony's never had a problem with. He's always been easily to go five fives, never mind three fives, and he's always had mental toughness. You've just got to look at the, the arm bars and the stuff that he's sat in and not tapped. I just uh, I hope his body isn't burnt out when he comes into the fight because I will finish him even faster if that's the case. You know, Patty, a lot of people are talking about Ian Gary, and I, I don't know if you see a, you know, a, a, I don't know, a comparison. I just say that because it always seemed to me a lot of the other fighters would talk negatively about you, and obviously now you're seeing that uh, with Ian. You guys are both young, talented fighters. Do you see any sort of comparison? Obviously, the situation's different, but in that, a lot of the other fighters have seen. No, I know, I know what you mean. Like, I know what you mean. People have people have turned on him in a big way, lads. Like. It yeah. is mad, but, you know, he's just it's one of them, lad. He'll use it to his advantage. I was actually talking to Ian yesterday in the PI because he's got a son, Annie, and he was talking to me about my wife being pregnant. So, you know, he's just got to get on with it, lad. I've been there. I have. I've been there, and it's um, it's rough, lad. It is. The first six months of this year for me, well, five months before I got married, it was, was tough. You know what I mean? People yep. comment on my social media saying that I should kill myself and stuff like that. That's just wrong. Right. Especially as you've talked in the past about, uh, you know, some of your friends and, and whatnot who have who've dealt with, uh, you know, depression. And, yeah, that's a, a crappy thing to say to somebody, obviously. Uh, what would you say, Patty, uh, uh, kind of get us out here on a, on a little bit of a higher note. What would you say if Tony was watching this right now? Would you have any message uh, to Tony Ferguson? No, nah, I respect Tony Ferguson, lad. Tony Ferguson, I've been watching since I was 16. You know, people think I'm going to be saying this about him and not about him, lad. I'm not. I can't wait. It's an honour. It's an honour for me to share the cage with him, lad. He's a legend in the sport. Top five lightweights of all time. And can't wait to meet him next week, lad, and just shake his hand. 